ਵਾਂਸ ਅਗੇਨ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਬੈਕ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਸੈਗਮੈਂਟ ਵਿੱਚ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਮੁਲਾਕਾਤ ਕਰਾਵਾਂਗੇ ਨਵੀਨ ਗਿਰ ਨਾਲ ਇਹ ਪ੍ਰੋਜੈਕਟ ਮੈਨੇਜਰ ਹਨ ਕਾਮਾਗਟਾ ਮਾਰੂ 1914 ਤੋਂ ਲੈ ਕੇ 2014 ਜੋ ਅਸੀਂ ਸ਼ਤਾਬਦੀ ਮਨਾ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਇਸ ਕਾਰਨ ਲੋਅਰ ਮੇਨਲੈਂਡ ਬ੍ਰਿਟਿਸ਼ ਕੋਲੰਬੀਆ ਵਿੱਚ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰੀਆਂ ਸੈਲੀਬ੍ਰੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਕਮੈਮੋਰੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਹੋ ਰਹੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਜਿਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਿ ਜੋ ਇਹ ਹਾਦਸਾ ਹੋਇਆ ਉਸ ਬਾਰੇ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਚੇਤਨਾ ਦਿੱਤੀ ਜਾਏਗੀ ਐਗਜ਼ੀਬਿਸ਼ਨਸ ਲੱਗ ਰਹੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਸੈਮੀਨਾਰਸ ਹੋ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਬਾਤਾਂ ਹੋ ਰਹੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਇਸੇ ਸੰਬੰਧ ਵਿੱਚ ਅੱਜ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਨਵੀਨ ਗਿਰਨ ਨਾਲ ਕਿ ਆਉਣ ਵਾਲੇ ਸਮੇਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਿਹੜੇ ਕਿਹੜੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮਸ ਨੇ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਵੀ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਬੈਨੀਫਿਟ ਲੈ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਫਸਟ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਹੀਅਰ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਸੋ 100 ਸਾਲ ਦਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਸਫ਼ਰ ਹੈਗਾ ਹੈ ਇਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਾਫੀ ਲੰਮੇ ਸਮੇਂ ਤੋਂ ਸਾਡੇ ਭਾਈਚਾਰੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇੱਕ ਉਡੀਕ ਵੀ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਇਹ 100 ਸਾਲ ਕਦੋਂ ਹੋਣਗੇ ਤੇ ਚੰਗੇ ਤਰੀਕੇ ਨਾਲ ਮੇਨ ਸਟ੍ਰੀਮ ਅਤੇ ਹੋਰ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਦੱਸ ਸਕਾਂਗੇ ਕਿ ਕੀ ਹੋਇਆ ਸੀ ਉਸ ਸਮੇਂ ਸੋ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਪ੍ਰੋਜੈਕਟ ਮੈਨੇਜਰ ਹੈਗੇ ਜੋ ਇਹ ਸਾਰੀਆਂ ਕਮੈਮੋਰੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਹੋ ਰਹੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਇਹਦੇ ਸੰਬੰਧ ਵਿੱਚ ਥੋੜਾ ਦੱਸੋ ਕਿ ਕੀ ਕੁਝ ਹੋ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਜੀ ਵੈਲ ਥਿੰਗ ਇਸ ਹਰਪ੍ਰੀਤ ਜੀ ਇਸ ਥੈਟ ਥਿਸ ਇਸ ਦ 100th ਐਨਿਵਰਸਰੀ ਆਫ ਦ ਕਾਮਾਗਾਰਮ ਰੂਮ ਐਂਡ ਪੀਪਲ ਵਰ ਲੁਕਿੰਗ ਫੋਰ ਟੂ ਦਿਸ ਡੇਟ ਫੋਰ ਅ ਲੌਂਗ ਟਾਈਮ ਲਾਈਕ ਯੂ ਮੈਂਸ਼ਨਡ ਰਾਈਟ ਐਂਡ ਏਟ ਇੰਸਟੀਟਿਊਸ਼ਨਸ ਅਕਰਾਸ ਮੈਟਰੋ ਵੈਂਕੂਵਰ ਵਰ ਆਲ ਇੰਡੀਪੈਂਡੈਂਟਲੀ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਕਾਮਾਗਾਰਮ ਰੂਮ ਸੈਲੀਬ੍ਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਕਮੈਮੋਰੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਬਟ ਵੀ ਆਲ ਕੇਮ ਟੂਗੇਦਰ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਦ ਆਈਡੀਆ ਵਾਸ ਇਸ ਦੈਟ ਦ ਕਾਮਾਗਾਰਮ ਰੂਮ ਇਸ ਨਾਟ ਜਸਟ ਅ ਇਨਸੀਡੈਂਟ it's an episode in a larger narrative that comes and comes to today right so for instance there's exhibitions and programs taking place all across metro vancouver the vancouver maritime museum is doing mm-hmm. a wonderful exhibition about the kamagata maru and a speaker series on ideas of apologies and reconciliation right. and what we can learn from the kamagata maru today mm-hmm. the museum of vancouver baji has this only artifact that's known from the kamagata maru mm-hmm. during a midnight raid a brick was thrown from the kamagata maru ship at a police boat okay. and that brick entered into the police archives they went into the museum of vancouver's archives mm-hmm. and now that brick is the only artifact we have from the kamagata maru okay. and we use that to tell the story of the kamagata maru but also reimagine vancouver mm-hmm. and what vancouver was like at that time period uh, with the second avenue gudwara with the shops with the immigration officials with the city hall all those things mm-hmm. at the same time it comes across as well too the surrey museum is doing an exhibition that opens up on february 13th okay. and february 13th is a really interesting day because it's a 100 day countdown to the kamagata maru's 100th anniversary Right. And at the Surrey Museum is an exhibition that includes the voices of mm-hmm. descendants of Kamagata Maru passengers who now live in Surrey. Okay. We get to get their perspective on the Kamagata Maru, mm-hmm. but also Surrey youth as well. And what they think can be learned from the Kamagata Maru is a present-day legacy. Right. There's many, many events at the um, the Castle Devan Society of course in Ross Street Temple of course has their Kamagata Maru Museum. Mm-hmm. There'll be regular lectures and tours taking place during that time. The Surrey Public Library and Picks are joining together to do a poetry reading that involves English language as well as Punjabi poetry okay. reminiscences of the kamagata maru mm-hmm. and the surrey art gallery is doing a visual art exhibition on the kamagata maru okay. the, the main reason for these eight institutions to come together is to show that the kamagata maru is not just a story of 1914 right. it's a story of 2014 mm-hmm. and has living legacies today today that relate to all canadians not just south asians right. so in that sense there's four main reasons for doing it mm-hmm. simon fraser university which is a great partner of ours mm-hmm. has done this definitive website kamagatamarujourney.ca right. and from there there are learning modules that can be used by elementary school students and high school students mm-hmm. and even university students to learn about the Kamagata Maru but also gain awareness about what right. the Kamagata Maru really is. Mm-hmm. Also there's this idea of the new and the old. Right. Baji from the Kamagata Maru there's only about 20 photographs that exist from that time period. Mm-hmm. But what we're doing is we're commissioning new artwork, new pieces to be okay. brought to light. But also at the same time going and hunting through people's houses, mm-hmm. finding old photographs, finding diaries, finding old newspaper articles or stories right. that can be brought to light for the very first time. Mm-hmm. At the same time as well there's this interactivity as well too. Right. Museum exhibitions are there but at the same time you want to have the audience members engage with them in some Welcome. way. Right. So in that sense what people can do is they can come to the exhibitions mm-hmm. for instance the Vancouver Maritime Museum there's a large map of the entire world mm-hmm. and people can place onto that map where they're from where their ancestors are from. Right. So in a sense these exhibitions grow and breathe over time to respond to people's of uh, people coming. Mm-hmm. And finally there's a diversity of voices. Okay. The thing about the Kamagata Maru is that there's a lot of perspectives out there. Mm-hmm. Each institution is showing their own part of the story. Right. But what we want to do is engage the
ਉਸ ਉੱਤੇ ਵੀ ਕਿੰਤੂ ਪ੍ਰੰਤੂ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਕਿ ਬਈ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਨਾਟ ਦਾ ਰਾਈਟ ਰਿਸਪੌਂਸ ਦਾ ਵੇਟ ਸ਼ੁਡ ਹੈਵ ਹੈਪਨਡ ਦਾ ਵੇਟ ਸ਼ੁਡ ਹੈਵ ਬੀਨ ਟੈਕਲਡ ਸੋ ਉਹਦੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਅ ਪ੍ਰੋਜੈਕਟ ਮੈਨੇਜਰ ਫॉर ਆਲ ਥਿਸ ਹਾਊ ਡੂ ਯੂ ਫੀਲ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਇਟ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਇਹੋ ਜਿਹੀਆਂ ਜਦੋਂ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਹੁੰਦੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਦੇ ਸੈਂਟ ਅ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਕਾਈਂਡ ਆਫ ਕਨੋਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਇੱਕ ਵੱਖਰੀ ਯੂ نو ਇੱਕ ਇਮੇਜ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਉਹ ਅੱਗੇ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ੈਂਟ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਅਜੇ ਵੀ 100 ਸਾਲ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਵੀ ਕੀ ਇਹ ਸੋਚ ਪ੍ਰਚਲਿਤ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਵਾਕਿਆ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੀ ਜੋ ਕੁਝ ਹੋਇਆ ਉਹ ਇੱਕ ਇੱਕ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਦਾ ਇੱਕ ਅਨਜਾਣੇ ਪੁਨਾ ਚ ਹੋਇਆ ਜਾਂ ਵਾਕਿਆ ਚੀਜ਼ ਦੇ ਪਿੱਛੇ ਕੋਈ ਸੋਚ ਹੈਗੀ ਯੂ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਇਟਸ ਅ ਵੈਰੀ ਗੁੱਡ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਜੀ ਐਂਡ ਇਨ ਦ ਸੈਂਸ ਥੇਰਸ ਟੂ ਪਾਰਟਸ ਟੂ ਇਟ ਵਨ ਇਜ਼ the main story is of education mm-hmm. and setting aside the fact if the individual was mentally disturbed or not education is still important because the comments for that story were people were supporting him for right. the action he was doing in a sense that is what needs to be combated in mm-hmm. a sense through education and awareness of the kamagaram root these weren't just these indians who were coming to canada right. these were subjects of the british empire the mm-hmm. same as the canadian dominion of canada subjects were right. and they were exercising their right to travel within the empire that was the freedom they had mm-hmm. now it's another thing that the canadian government set up a racist law saying you had to come by continuous passage right. so these two laws came to a head at mm-hmm. burrard inlet in 1914 Mm-hmm. And in that sense both of them had their own legal legal requirements mm-hmm. and the Canadian law is now seen as a, a legal law even right. we were able to find this documentary from the CBC in 1964 mm-hmm. and even for the 50th anniversary this the narrative art already changed that Canada was in the wrong by having this law right. and in that sense that awareness needs to filter down to the larger community mm-hmm. when we see that memorial in Harbour Green Park mm-hmm. it shouldn't be that this is a south asian story this mm-hmm. is a story of Vancouver so having people from Vancouver like the mayor stand up and say this is a, an injustice that needs to be rectified um that's an important thing to show because it's our story it's canada story right. not just a minority story mm-hmm. us din ali jisna tusi kya hai ki eh exhibitions hon gaye interactive sessions hon gaye yeah. uh, why do you think ke ede vich participation apni community walo honi chahiye hai ek main cheez eh vi dekhda hai ki jadon eho je events hunde ne kai vari uh, mainstream to jyada log pahunch jande ne apne jehde log ne jinna de layi eh sab kuch kita ja raha hai kai vari cut yeah. uh, hunde ne depending upon kithe ho raha hai eh vi yeah. ek factor hunda hai so yeah. tusi why do you think there is a need uh, Uh, for the south asians especially to come and especially the indo canadians to come forward and celebrate and uh, commemorate this event i think the kama garamu can teach us a lot about the history of the community in mm-hmm. canada if you go back to the kama garamu story it envelops other stories as well too the gadda freedom movement gaining the right to vote in 1947 right. immigration changes stories of women and labor all those things relate and can stem from the kama garamu right. and we can all learn from them so in that sense it's a very important marker where mm-hmm. we can le- learn other things and for the south asian community itself it can point us towards the future as well Gee. too a lot of different perspectives are out there on mm-hmm. what needs to be done for the south asian community in terms of how we integrate or not integrate or all those issues right. and there's important discussions to be had mm-hmm. and that's what we want to create a platform for discussions where South Asians can feel like they're open, their right. I- their opinions are welcome, mm-hmm. and we can have a dialogue in a very frank and open way to show how we can uh, move forward. Wonderful and uh, thank you for this uh, perspective and ask karne ke 13 February nu Sari Museum jo ke 184 ate uh, 54 highway 10 de utte hai utthe e program de vich vach chad ke log aanage sama akhir ho jada so kinne vere shuru ho rahe hai so that'll begin at noon noon okay. to 2 o'clock in the afternoon there's Thick. a preview of the exhibition and it launches our all our eight projects as well too right. so all the eight institutions will have a, a a chance there to showcase what they're doing and our website is kamagaramaru100.com thank you very much and best wishes thank you so much yeah.